Hello. Today we're going to learn an interesting application of Bayes' theorem. And so here's the premise. The other day, I went to the doctor because I needed to get a test for this terrible disease. As I was in the doctor's office, I'm reading a magazine. And uh, in the magazine, I found an article about this disease. And it says, uh, statistically, one out of every 10,000 people gets this disease. I go into the doctor's office and the doctor says, um, I'm going to administer you a test which has 99% effectivity. So it's correct 99% of the time and it's wrong 1% of the time. I thought that's pretty good. So I get the test. Two days later, the doctor calls me and says, I'm so sorry, sir, but you have tested positive for this terrible disease. And I start panicking. So I don't know what to do. I call my, uh, my best friend. My best friend is mathematics. And I say, oh my God, I think I got this disease. And mathematics says, well, wait a minute, what, what's the probability that you have the disease? And I say, well, the test is correct 99% of the time. So if the test said that I'm positive, then must be 99% probability that, that, I, that I have the disease. And mathematics says, no, 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 one second. Let's, uh, let's actually try to calculate the probability that you have the disease given that you've tested positive. So let's, let's make a little poll. And here's the poll. Uh, do you think that the probability that I'm sick is in between 75 and 100%? Do we think that it's in between 550 and 75%? Do we think that it's between 25 and 50%? Or in between 0 and 25%? So take your pick. I'm, I'm thinking that it's pretty high, right? 99%. So I think it's I think it's here. But uh, let's let's see. So first, let's gather some info. Okay. The information says from the magazine, I know that the probability of having the disease is one out of ten thousand because one of every ten thousand people has a disease. So info. I'm gonna write one thing. Probability of having the disease one over ten thousand and we also know that the probability that the test is correct is 99% because the test has 99% effectivity okay and now let's go ahead and calculate the probability. So we're going to define two events. The first event is going to be called D. And D is the event of having the disease. And my second event is called T. And T is the event of testing positive. And what do we need to calculate? We need to calculate the probability of having the disease given that one tested positive. This is what we need to find. So first, let's remember some of the tools. So tools are here. The first tool says that the probability of A intersection B is the probability of A times the probability of B given A. Why? Because if I want A and B to happen, that's equivalent to saying I want A to happen, and once A happens, I want B to happen, so probability of A happening and given A, probability of B happening. So this is formula one. And formula 2 says that the probability of A is equal to the probability of A intersection B plus probability of A intersection B complement. And why is this? This is easy to see graphically. If we have A as this event and we have B as this event, then this is A intersection 
B. And this is A intersection B complement. And as you can see, they're disjoint. As you can see, their union is A. And by the theorem that says that if, they, if two these sets are disjoint and their union is a third set, the probabilities add to the probability of the third, of, of the third event. So these are our tools. And now we're going to go ahead and calculate this probability. Probability of disease given tested positive. So we're going to use formula number one to get that the probability of D given T is the same as the probability of D intersection T divided by the probability of T. I just use this formula dividing the P of A on the side. And now we're going to look at the top and the bottom separately. Notice that D intersection T is the same as T intersection D. So this is the same as P of T intersection D. And now, for the bottom, uh, I'm going, uh, let, since T, okay, we're going to look at formula number two. So, we're going to say that probability of T is the same as the probability of T intersection D plus the probability of T intersection complement. And now we're gonna do for the top and the bottom we're gonna use formula 1. So what is P of T intersection D? It's the same as P of T given D times P of D. Right? Using this formula number one. And the bottom, same thing, P of T intersection D is P of T given D times P of D, and P of T intersection D complement is P of T given D complement times P of D complement. And now we're going to calculate each one of this probabilities. And for that, we remember our information, right? What does the information say? The probability of having the disease is 1 out of 10,000. So, let's write this in black. We have that the P of D is equal to 1 over 10,000, which is 0 0.00. .00 uh, zero, 01. Okay? And what's the probability of D complement? Well, it's the probability of not having the, the, the disease. So it's 1 minus this, which is 0 0.9999. Okay? There's that. And now, what is the probability that the test is correct? Let's see. How much is P? of t given d. Well, it's the probability of testing positive given that you have the disease. Now, since the test has 99% effectivity, then the probability of testing positive, if you have the disease, means the probability of the test being correct, and that's 99%. And what is the probability of T given the complement is the probability of testing positive given that you don't have the disease, which is the probability of the test being wrong, which is 0 0.01. Let's put these numbers in here. So we have equals what is P of T given D? 0.99. Times P of D, which is 0 0.0001, plus, oh, sorry, divided by 
the same thing. And this is plus the probability of T D uh, given D complement to 0 0.01 times the probability of D complement to 0 0.999. And this is our answer. We plug this into the formula, into the calculator, and what do we get? We get 0 0.0098. So the probability is 0 0.0098, which is less than 1%. So who won the poll? Well, it seems like the answer is here. It's not 99% like I thought. It's less than 1%. But why though? Seems very strange. And let me explain to you in a few ways. But first of all, look at this. Okay? Uh, 0 0.99 seems very close to 1. So let's forget about it. Same here, and 0 0.9999 is very close to 1. So this is kind of 1 over 10,000 divided by 1 over 10,000 plus 1 over 100. This 1 over 100 is huge compared to the 1 over 10,000. And so this is an over that rules. And remember that this is the probability that the test fails, and this is the probability that you're sick. So if the test failing has a much higher probability than you being sick, the test is meaningless. Let me show you in a more graphical way. Let's just say that this is the population. There's 10,000 people. If everybody was, was sane, didn't have the disease, and I administer the test on everybody, then the test is going to be wrong 1% of the time. 1% of 10,000 is equal to 100 people. So out of these 10,000 people, 100 of them tested positively. And the rest tested negative. Now, out of these 10,000 people, we know that statistically, one of them is sick. So it could be here, could be here. Let's just pretend that the sick person happened to be tested correctly. So this person has the disease. Now, when I went to the doctor, I had a positive test. So I am among these people who tested positive. Now, what, are the what is the probability that if I'm in these people, I happen to be the sick one? Well, 1%, and 99% that I am uh, one, of the, one of the ones who are not, don't have the disease. And if this sick person got misdiagnosed, then it's even worse. That's why it's less than 1%. Okay? So, in summary, if the probability that the test is wrong is 1%, and the probability that you have the disease is 0.01%, then it's much more likely that you're falling in here than that you're falling in here. And therefore, so always keep this in mind, if the probability of an event occurring is much smaller than the margin of error of the test, then the test is meaningless. And this is called a false positive. Always beware of false positives. Thank you.